The Ambiguous Case, Case 4, I wanted to show you again because it didn't show up on the, the last video because I didn't move the page. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do this example one more time and then I'm going to do a question from your homework on page 318, number 5A. So let's take a look again here. So this case four happens when side A is larger than B sine A. Remember that B sine A is just the height, the height or the minimum height of a triangle that you could make here. So this is your B sine A. Okay, so if this side length A is bigger than this one, but smaller than this size. So you'll be able to tell from the question um, whether or not it's smaller right away. So that should be a clue to you whether or not you can either make one, make a triangle. So I could make one out here, but could I also make another one where this side length is swung around over here? So I get two solutions. And again, remember that once you've figured out this one and you know this length, if it's shorter than this one, then you're most likely going to be able to make a second one. It's got to be either the same length or bigger to only have one. So for this example here, remember, because this would be an isosceles triangle, if I put it here or here, so these angles would be the same, then this angle here, which is your obtuse angle, is going to be 180 minus that one. So let's take a look at one of your homework questions. I wrote out here, this is 5A from your homework. And they gave you side A, side B, and angle A. So again, this is a side-side angle question. Side-side <coughs> angle or angle side-side. So remember when you see this word, or maybe backwards, that you know that you have to watch out for a second possibility. So here's a quick sketch of it. So here's my side, my angle A, side A. So this is side A. A, 7.2 millimeters, side B, 9.3 millimeters, and angle A here. So I have side, side, angle. Now the question is, can I draw a second triangle? The first thing you need to do is figure out what is this height here? What is the height, the minimum height of a triangle? Is this large enough to be out here? So the height, remember, is equal to B times the sine of A. So when I plug in those values, here comes pizza pan again. So B is 9.3 and the sine of A is the sine of 35 degrees. So you have to do a quick calculation. Remember this B sine A. If you don't remember it, just draw opposite over hypotenuse. You'll be able to figure it out very quickly. So I'm going to do 9.3 times the sine of 35 degrees. And that tells me that 5.3, approximately 5.3 is the minimum, the minimum height, minimum height of A, and minimum length of A to make a triangle. So this would have to be at least 5.3, okay, 5.3, but it's 7.2. So 7.2 is bigger than this. So we write it here, 5.3. So 7.2 is between these two, right? 7.2. So it's smaller than this one, but bigger than this one. So that means I could put this in here as well. So you have, you're asked to uh, sketch the triangles and give all the side lengths, label all the side lengths to the nearest tenth of a centimeter and all angles to the nearest degree. So we could figure out this angle here now. So we're going to find, let's find this, we'll call this B, B1. Okay. This will be B1 and this angle here, the obtuse angle, we'll call that B2. Okay, so how do I solve those angles? I'm going to use the sine law. Remember, we have the sine law. It's very handy. So I have this one. Sine 35. Let's write that one down over here. Sine of 35 degrees over, sine of 35 over 7.2 is equal to 
the sine of, we'll call it B1, over 9.3. So sine B1, remember your little N rule, so sine B1 is this times this divided by that. See the nice N that one made. So sine B is equal to 9.3 times sine of 35 degrees divided by 7.2. And it said to the nearest degree, um, nearest tenth of a centimeter for length and nearest degree. Okay, so I'm going to do 9.3 times the sine of 35 divided by 7.2. And I get 0 0.74086. Remember, that's your ratio. And I want the angle. So I'm going to do second sine, second answer. And that gives me approximately equal to, to the nearest degree, 48 degrees. Okay, so that means B1, B1 is going to be 48 degrees, and B2, which will be my other possible angle over here, is going to be 180 minus 48. So that's 132 degrees. Okay, so then you would sketch your other triangle. They asked you to sketch both of them. And finally, you could find the side length of C just using the sine ratio. I'm not going to do that for you. That's grade 10 math. I'm sure you've got that figured out. Okay, so hopefully that helped and, and you were able to see the last calculation here. Got it? Ooh, maybe I need to move it over a little more. There you go.